away discus fish tanks with discus fish fries. What and how to feed them? That's coming up in this video. So keep watching. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can hatch a brine chimp eggs and feed it to the discus fish fries. Now I purchased this bottle from Amazon. If you open it, you can see that there are lots of capsule type things inside it. So for one liter of water which is used for hatching, you have to add one capsule. That is written on the instruction label of this bottle. Now to get started with, you can use any used up bottle and cut the bottom just about this much length from the bottom. A quarter inch use a sharp knife and cut it so you can see that I have just cut the bottom lid and I will use this one liter bottle to hatch the eggs now I have another half inch bottle cut from the bottom and I will stick it like this and it will become the stand for the hatchery now this is only a trial hatchery, I will make another hatchery that contains 2-3 bottles. You can hatch the eggs in 2-3 bottles at once. So this is only a single bottle hatchery and it is already a trial method. Just trying to see whether it will hatch or not. Now after the setup is placed near a strong lamp, you can add 1 liter of water into that bottle and I have also put a air stone inside it. So this will aerate the water. You have to just fill the water up to the top rim level. Now after adding the water, you have to add the aquarium salt, rock salt or any non-ionized salt. I have the aquarium salt so I will add just one spoon of aquarium salt into the one liter water so one spoon is about this much now you can add it to the water that is aerating with the air stone now after adding the salt when the salt completely mixes in the water, you have to add a pinch of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate that is available in various medical stores or chemist stores. We add the baking soda to stabilize the pH. Once the baking soda is completely dissolved in this solution, you can add the Branchim X. I purchased this from Amazon. If you want to purchase a similar Branchim X packet that comes in capsule, I have dropped a link in the video description, you can check it out and it is very cheap. Now I have took a capsule from the bottle and I will add one capsule to this one liter of mixture of uh, aquarium salt and pinch of baking soda. So here it is the one capsule. Now uh, this one capsule may be looking very small but it contains lot of branch rim eggs. So there it is I have added the branch rim eggs. Some eggs may float on the top of the water you have to completely dissolve it inside the water. I have dissolved completely the eggs. Now the bottle may look like mild brown in color and that are the unhatched eggs. So it is aerating and we have to leave this for about 24 hours, 24 to 36 hours. Now after one or two hours you can see that some eggs are floating on the top you have to again dissolve it completely inside the water now these are the discussed fish fries I have if you can see that there are a lot of fries and 
to grow them out healthy at the fry stage you have to feed them brine shrimp because the brine shrimp is very rich in protein and it helps them to grow faster i have also kept the top lid on the top of the bottle so that the water may not evaporate that much so it's been about 24 hours and you can see that the color of the water has changed to some mild orange type that means most of the eggs have hatched out but still some eggs are left out so that also need to be hatched so that the color of the water completely changed to some orange type so i have secured the leaf and leave it for another 12 hours and let's see if the eggs will hatch out or not So here it is the discus fish fries there are about 20 or more of them so in the previous batch also there were 20 hatched out fries for the discus now this is the second batch and again i have got the 20 hatched out fries but i doubt how many of them will grow out to some big fish size so i'm trying to feed them this baby brine shrimp so that they can grow faster because it is very rich in protein now it's almost about 36 hours or more so you can see that the color of the water has changed to mild orange type and you can see that the baby brine shrimps are moving inside the water only if you can see you can see that it is moving so I have switched off the aeration and put the light at the bottom side so that this baby branch shim moves to the bottom and this baby branch shim if you don't know they are attracted to light so they will move to the place where there is light so you can see that the baby branch shims have settled at the bottom if you can see that there is a orange type some thick liquid at the bottom and they are the hatched out baby brine shrimps now at the beginning you may know that this uh, water contains aquarium salt and also sodium bicarbonate so it is not that good to add it to the breeding tank because it will increase the conductivity so we have to wash out this baby brine shrimp now you can wash out using a coffee filter now since i don't have a coffee filter right now i will use a simple cloth and make an arrangement like this one and use the buster I have to suck out the settled brine shrimps that are at the bottom they have collected at the top of the cloth now these are fresh baby brine shrimps now in the another container I have this aquarium water so I will just put all the baby brine shrimp in that water so now it is free of uh, the salt and sodium bicarbonate. So you can repeat it till all the baby brine shrimps have been taken out from that 1 liter bottle. So there are a lot of baby brine shrimp. Just repeat the same procedures. So you got the thick aggregation of this baby brine shrimp you can see here and then again put them inside that aquarium water or the water you have collected from the breeding tank now it's time to add the baby brine shrimps to the discus fish tank so that the fries could eat it when I zoom the camera inside this liquid, you can see that there are a lot of wiggling microorganisms and there are the baby brine shrimps. They are fresh and they are healthy and they are rich in protein and very good for the discus fish fries. Now I am adding the first dose of baby brine shrimp using the baster. Now this is the second dose of the baby brine shrimp. Make sure you have the filters off 
or all the baby brine shim will be sucked out by the filter. So if you zoom inside the water you can see lot of moving organisms are there. Leave it inside the water and the fries will find it and eat it completely. So after 2-3 hours you can see that the water will be clear of this moving microorganism. So that's how you feed the discus fish fries with baby brine shrimps. I hope you liked the video, if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments about the video or have any suggestions about the next video that I should upload then leave it in the comment section below. Share this video with your friends or relatives and subscribe this channel if you are new to this channel. Until next video bye and take care and thanks for watching.